Today we're going to uh, show you how to do this um, mathematics question. Uh, it's a uh, topic is uh, application of uh, calculus. So we have a particle is moving on a straight line. So the velocity is expressed in this formula. So we can see uh, this formula is equal to square root 4 plus 4 s. So s is uh, displacement in um, meters per second. So what we need to do is calculate the displacement when time equal to 2 second. So let's have a little description. So we need to find the displacement at time equal to two. So this question, we basically need to find the, uh, in, in order to have find the uh, displacement against the time. So we need establish, uh, establish a relationship between the loss of uh, dis, uh, displacement and the time. So that means we need uh, S equal to FP. So we need to find out what is the relationship. So let's have a look at the at the moment. We given the given, so because we have a V equal to four plus four times S. So that means we can, so this is given the relationship between the velocity and the S. So there is, so how do we change that velocity against S? So this is a, into a velocity, uh, this displacement against the time. So what I do is I'm going to first simplify this equation. So we can take a four out become 4 plus a, 1 plus s, so the change will be square root 2 times plus square root 1 plus s. So we simplify that. So we know, so first of all, we need to change that, this particular relationship v again s into a relationship between t and the s. So Let's change this velocity into, you know, velocity is differentiate displacement with respect to time, so ds dt. So that means if I was, so it means ds dt divided by dt is equal to square root two plus one plus s. So we can change this into d s equal to two times plus square root one times s, one plus s, times by dt. So we need to establish the relations between s and t. But if you look at this, uh, this, uh, things on the right hand side. So we need to move that one to the other side. So we change to S in one side. So we put this. So we, we put an S onto left hand side. So we call DS divided by two square root one plus S equal to DT. So now we got dt, ds dt. So we want to find a t against. So we say, what is a t? So now we can see if t will be integration of one divided by two. Ds. So if we're going to change t equal to integration of the 
with respect to S. So now we're going to take a half out. So we've got, so let's simplify to one plus S to the power of negative half. So now this is a very simple integration. Sorry, I was doing the integration sign there. So therefore the answer will be, so negative half, times by positive two, which was uh, negative half uh, underneath, and one plus half equal to half, and then flip it to top. So then one plus s to the power of positive half. So this positive half is one half, uh, negative half plus one, plus c. So we got t equal to, so two, two cancel with that. So T equal to one plus S square root plus C. So we know uh, the initial displacement is zero. So if you look at the, the condition says initial so if you look at this initial displacement is zero, <coughs> so that means we say because because when time initial means when time equals zero, so displacement is also zero. So we replace <coughs> zero t with zero one plus zero equal to the square root. A C, so therefore, <coughs> so we can see C is a negative half. So we move on to, <coughs> so we can see now we have found the relationship between time and S can be written into one plus S half minus c, which is a uh, plus c, which is minus one. <coughs> now we go to uh, change to s in relation to t. So how do we do that? So we obviously will change to s is equal to square t plus one to the power of two and minus one. Um, now we said, so now we establish a relationship between S and T is that. So that means if we say when time could be two, so what's S? So we can use S, the formula we substitute, two plus one, minus one. So therefore the answer will be nine minus one, so it'll be eight. So therefore, when, so when t equal to two, our displacement is equal to eight meter. That's it. Thank you for watching. And if you like this solution, please subscribe to my channel.